Today, we will see how to scrape data that you have created, for example, on Google Maps. So, for example, that is my case. I have a travel profile on Google Maps and I create reviews. I want to scrap my reviews. I want to get the data that I created on Google Maps. So this is my, uh, my account. Where can I fly? And if I go to my contributions, first option and uh, like the most common option to download my maps, my uh, my reviews is to go to my, prof my profile and here uh, if I go to reviews I have all the reviews I've created and I've created like hundreds of reviews but I would like to download them because I want to use them I want to get links to my uh, pictures without having like to manually select the place select the location select the review select the rating I've put uh, download the, the picture or uh, find the link uh, for the picture uh, so copy the image link i want to download all my all my data all the data i have personally created on on uh, on google maps and uh, so the first way to do it would be to manually copy and paste all of them so i have uh, if I go to check here, so I have 226 reviews. Of course, I am not going to copy and paste them manually. That's far too much. I also have a thousand photos. I, there must be a better way to be able to download them. And actually, there is. So the, the, be the best way actually is to use this tool called uh, Outscrapper. So on Outscrapper, I can go, to, for example, to Map Reviews. And here I have a Google Maps with Reviews Scraper tool that will download for me all the reviews um, I've put. So actually, no, uh, not this one. I will download the contributor reviews. So all the reviews created by one contributor, in this case, me. And to do so, it's very simple. All I have to do so it's open my profile. So if you are not on your uh, cor uh, correct uh, profile on the Google Maps, when you open Google Maps, you can switch profile by clicking here. Then uh, uh, check the URL. And here, this part of the URL is your Google Maps uh, contributor ID. So copy it, paste it here. And you can see, you can either, uh, if you can see the gray area, the, it's an example in gray. So this is, you can either paste um, Google Reviews Contributor ID or a Google Reviews Contributor URL. So in, in my case, uh, if, we, if we check how it is uh, set up, it's the google.com slash map slash contrib slash user ID slash reviews. So it would be this part of the URL. I can paste either this or simply uh, copy the user ID and paste it here. And then all you have to do is to tell how many um, uh, user reviews you want to download. So in, in that case, this result will uh, bring out 226 reviews, as we just saw, because of the number of reviews this user or my user has created. But you can limit to, uh, to less results per query. And uh, you can also change, uh, for example, the format if you want Excel, CSV, JSON, uh, rich data or packet data. And you can ask tags then to find uh, more easily this set of results uh, when you will have a lot of results. So now it's not the case. So just to show you how it works, I will limit this to uh, like the two last reviews. So hopefully it will be the two last reviews. And if I uh, scroll to the top of my uh, profile, it should be uh, this uh, review of, uh, of a supermarket and uh, this review of Indian food. Indian uh, de uh, food, delivered food. So let's put two results, just my user ID, and click on Get Data. And that's all you have to do to scrape data from Google Maps using this tool, Outscraper. Now the query uh, is going to be processed. OK, I confirm. I want uh, these two. So uh, also they recommend the first time you try to uh, to reduce the number of uh, the number per query to a small one just to see if it's working. So you don't download data you don't need just to make sure it's, it's correct. So for example, that's what we are doing. I confirm, that's what I want, and the task will be sent in the queue, and you can up directly switch to the task tab, and here actually it's already uh, done. So here, this query that I just created, uh, we are the 19th of uh, July, has downloaded two reviews. Let's check it, how it looks like. Let's save it, and open it. 
And here we go, I have downloaded uh, my result. So the query is for my user ID. This is the review text. So the first one is a supermarket review. The second one is a Indian food day re review. Then I have the rating I've put. So I've put five uh, stars for both. If I've put an image, I will uh, I will get the image's URL. So actually in this case, I think in, uh, it's only the first image, uh, the main uh, image or the last one that was um, added to your review. You will also get a direct link to your review. So if I take this link off and open it, here it is. Yes, it's direct link to uh, my review with my picture of uh, the uh, the food that, uh, that I ordered and that I reviewed. So I also have a link to the user image. So in this case, actually, the user image is the it's a it's a thumbnail. So the original picture I uploaded, of course, it's much bigger. It was taken with my phone, so it's resolution I think 1,200 by 900, something like that. And here, uh, in any case, we get a link to a small image. Well, it's better than nothing, but actually it's uh, still better than if you went manually, like just go to the review, use the right click, uh, open image in new tab, save image as, image as, copy image, anything, then you would get this picture that is uh, actually resized. So here I have a little smaller picture, but uh, I have the full picture. Uh, if I went uh, manually to copy and paste using right click, I would get this picture. Uh, that has been uh, changed by Google Images. Uh, okay, so then I have also the relative time. So compared to today, this uh, review was posted a day ago. So uh, this might not always be uh, very uh, meaningful uh, for all reviews. Then you have the place name. So the, for this is the name of the shop. This is the name of the Indian restaurant. Then you have the address. So the full address here in text. That, uh, oh, that you can uh, use, uh, for example, if you want to uh, to create your own uh, uh, link to Google Maps. You also have the place ID uh, for Google Maps. You have the place Google uh, ID. You have a link to the place on Google Maps. So if we check this link, this is directly the link on Google Maps to this place. So very simple if you want to share it uh, with someone. You have the overall place rating. So the previous rating is the rating I gave them. And this rating is the rating currently appearing on Google based on all reviews. So as you can see, there has been 1,571 reviews of the first place, for example, with an average rating of 3.8 and I've put a rating of five. So this is, for example, all the data you can get, you can reuse, uh, for example, if you want to audit the data you've created or uh, for many other, um, other uses. So if we go back to this uh, uh, data scraping tool, you have a lot of data scraping possible. You, on Google services, you can scrape uh, maps, you can scrape map reviews, maps by websites, contributor reviews, still on Google Maps, maps photos. You can scrape Google Play reviews, Google Shopping reviews, uh, traffic on Google Maps, Google search results, Google search images results, Google search news results, Google search videos results, Google shopping search results. Also on Amazon, you can scrape uh, Google products, um, sorry, Amazon <laughs> products. You can scrape Amazon product reviews. And you have also a lot of other services. So you can scrape email and uh, contacts from a website domain. You can validate a list of email. You can validate a list of mobile phones. So check if they are real, if they are correct. Uh, you can, uh, so bulk email link is not available yet, but it's a feature coming soon. But you can also scrape reviews, uh, scrape data from uh, Facebook pages, from your Facebook page, scrape data from Facebook reviews, from TripAdvisor reviews, from uh, places directories, from business directories. So there is a lot and not uh, of possibilities with hot scraper. Also, the price is uh, actually quite good if we check uh, pricing here. It's pretty cheap. So it all depends on uh, what you uh, want to do. So first of all, you have 500 records for free for places only. Uh, so if you create an account and you want to try, uh, which I of course recommend you to do, link is in the description of this video. Uh, you can try for free with 500 places records. 
What I did, because I needed to uh, extract my Google reviews, I have put a uh, little money, but it's pretty cheap. So it's uh, $0.002 cents per uh, business that, uh, that you don't know. So if you go on Google Maps Scraper, for example, I went, I did show you before the Google Maps Review Scraper, but it's pretty similar. So you have uh, 500 reviews to download for free. And if you, uh, if you need more for 0.00, .00 uh, to uh, US dollar cents, you can download run review. So if you have thousands of reviews to download, it will only take, uh, cost you a few dollars. And if you upgrade to business tier, it will cost even less, twice as less. And all the time you have a choice of a CSV or a Excel export. You can sort export data and you have access to API. You can also here calculate the cost. So for example, if you want to download up uh, 50,000, uh, 50, even 51,000 uh, reviews, it will only cost you $100. So it's pretty simple to use, and I recommend you to uh, create an account, trade for yourself, and let, uh, let us know in comment if it was useful in if you solve your uh, data scraping issue with this tool. Thanks for stopping by, and see you soon for another video.